After seeing countless videos done on this topic, I decided I'd do a top 10 things I hate on my car video. Um, this should be pretty easy to do since it's a Mustang. There's a lot here to hate. Just kidding, all jokes aside, I really do love this car, but like any other car, there's going to be imperfections and things you just don't like about it. Um, it no car is perfect. So uh, with that being said, here's the top 10 things I hate about my car. Alright, so number one, it's probably pretty obvious, and it's the wheel gap. I honestly don't like it, it's just, I don't know what I want to lower my car on yet, and obviously price is a factor, um, but yeah, this wheel gap has to go, like I can, I can put my whole foot in there, you could raise a family of four back here, like it's unacceptable, um, but I mean it does come in handy in certain situations, obviously like when I plow over crowds, leaving cars and coffee, it's nice to have the extra ground clearance. I mean, look, look at that. I, there's so much room to just go right over obstacles. It's great. It's just awesome. Number two is going to be the MT82 transmission. So, obviously, it feels pretty good when you're just sitting still. And it's good when you're driving uh, for the most part. But every once in a while, if you're trying to do a quick second to third gear change, it'll just lock you out even third to fourth sometimes too. And you can ask just about anyone with this transmission and they'll tell you that the MT82 sucks in that regard. Um, most of the time it's fine, but sometimes it just happens. It's something I really don't like about the car and there aren't really many fixes for it. I mean, a lot of people get short throw shifters, but it might not still help the problem. I mean, I love the manual, but definitely the MT82 is a weak spot of this car. So number three isn't exactly something specifically wrong with this car, but um, just the stereotype that goes along with Mustangs. Obviously, there's that douchebag stereotype, the uh, plows in the crowds, leaving cars and coffee stereotype, which honestly, I don't know why that's a thing. I can't think of any specific examples of that actually being true, but um, yeah, definitely the stereotype is a weak spot in my opinion, uh, of this car. Um, I love Mustangs, this is my third Mustang, but it's just something that comes with the territory of having the car. All right, coming down to number four, I'm sure it's the elephant in the room right now. That is the fact that this is a V6. Yes, it's a 3.7 V6, so it has more power than the last V6 that was in these Mustangs, but still, if I'm getting a Mustang, I'm gonna want a V8, but for me, Practically, it's not a good idea to uh, get a 5.0. Can't really afford one right now um, as I'm in college, but you know, I do like that I still get the same styling as a 5.0, but um, I just really wish I had the extra power and especially the sound of the 5.0. It's just something that is missing from this car. All right, so coming back into the car here for number five, and that has got to be the heavy clutch. So, it's not that bad now that I'm used to it. When I first got the car, it was definitely something kind of hard to get used to. Um, a lot of my friends are amazed with how heavy it is when they get in the car and uh, test it out, but um, I mean, it's just something I'm used to now, but it's kind of tough in traffic and it's not exactly the best clutch for someone who's getting used to the car. Um, it's heavy, there's not a defined grab point, so I don't know if it's aftermarket or what, but it is just way too heavy in my opinion for the car. All right, so number six. This is something that's kind of bothered me for a long time, but I just haven't got it fixed. And that's the hail damage that's on this. Uh, when I bought the car, it came like this. Um, quite a lot of hail damage all over the roof is the worst, as you can see. It was on the trunk before, but I got a new trunk um, and it was on the hood, but I have an aftermarket Cervini hood, as you can see. So the hail damage, most people don't notice it, but I know it's there, so it's just kind of something that bothers me personally. Alright, so number seven. This was also something else that was there when I bought the car, um, and that's this scratch right here on the door. Not exactly the best thing in the world. Um, as you can see, it's right on a body line, pretty deep. Um, it's really not too bad when you're stepping away from the car. Most people don't even notice it until I say something about it, but just to, again, it's one of those things that I know it's there, so it, bo it bothers me quite a bit. So carrying on with the body damage theme, uh, the next one on my list definitely has to be this dent right here. It's a really weird shape. There's kind of like two indentations there, 
Um, that was another thing that was there when I bought the car. I'm not really sure how it happened, but it does bother me. Haven't got it fixed yet, but it's definitely on the list of things to do. All right, number nine isn't something I can really show that well, um, but it's the brake feel of the car. They just don't bite. These brakes are way too small. I need to upgrade them. Um, these are new rotors and pads all the way around, but um, I don't know if they just haven't fully bedded in yet or what the deal is, but the brake feel is just not, it's just not there. Um, it's really mushy towards the top. You really have to push down quite a bit to get any sort of stopping power, and it's just not very confidence inspiring when you're driving. So if I could change another thing about the car, uh, it's probably the brakes. It's just something I can't stand whenever I'm driving. All right, so number 10. I decided after filming yesterday that I really wanted to kind of try to show it in the car. So um, it's the next day, and I'm just kind of out and about driving. Hopefully it'll do it, but there's this rattle between about 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs, and it's really annoying. Um, I did some research on it because it was kind of concerning me. Um, and I found out that a lot of people think it's either the two-piece drive shaft that's in these cars or the dual mass flywheel. So there really isn't a fix for that and Ford says they won't fix it since it's normal operation for the car. Um, but it's just something that really annoys me. It kind of freaks people out when they're driving in the car with you. Um, they think the car's falling apart and you have to explain to, the, you have to, explain to them that it's not. Um, I mean it's just kind of funny to mess with them with it sometimes too. And a lot of the times it just won't happen. Sometimes it'll happen like really often whenever I'm driving. So I'm gonna try to get it on camera. Hopefully I can. But like I said, it doesn't happen all the time. There it is, right there. That was third gear. It only happens off throttle, um, at least for me. I've read that certain people experience it when they're on throttle, um, so it might be a different problem for them, but it's really hard to say. That's just one thing, like, it doesn't really affect the performance of the car or anything, but it's just something I'm conscious of a lot of the time when I'm driving. In order to stop it, I just kind of blip the throttle and it goes away, or I just wait to get it below a certain RPM. But it's just something that kind of takes away from the driving experience, in my opinion. So those are the top 10 things I don't like about my car. Um, like I said, I don't hate this car. Uh, it's just like any other car. Obviously, it's going to have imperfections. Um, but to me, I love it. I love what I've done to it. And I'm really happy with it. So uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you like the car, if you don't like the car. Also, let me know if you want to see another one of these videos um, in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching.